Welcome. So, uh, what we've, we've done here is we've got a little committee that's interviewing. We're not the we're not the appointing officials, but we're those two are. But we're helping out, interviewing, sitting around, trading stories, then maybe give some recommendations to them. Um, and then there's that the public meeting Monday night. I think you know about that, uh, where the public will be there to hear from you and maybe ask questions, or whatever. So, so I'll, I'm just going to start with. We have a series of questions here. We've asked everybody. We haven't got through all of them with everybody, and sometimes it's just. They get answered without having asked them, or some people are long-winded and we never got through them. So uh, I'll start, and then everyone will jump in whenever they want it, and follow-ups, or, or go from there. So, so to begin with, tell us uh, what excites you about the job of a county commissioner. That's interesting. It's a, it's a challenge, um, and the fact that you know getting to do something for for the people here. Uh, in our county to serve. That's basically what it's about. And there's an awful lot to learn about this job. There's a lot of specifics that, that I'm not familiar with that I will have to become. So I see it as a, as a challenge. It's this, this is something I'm looking forward to doing. What do, you, uh, what do you see in county government and the commission that you think that is going well that you want to continue or reinforce? Well, you know, I know as a county we've grown, and uh, I like, I like, you know, I grew up in a small town, so consequently I know the benefits of living here. I'd like to maintain that, of course, in a general view. As far as other things are going, I don't think I'm really in a position right now to, to specify certain things simply because there's too much information that, that's going to have to be learned. And before I would want to comment on what I'd like to see changed or stay the same or, or any input, I really didn't need to be in that position or whoever it is to, to make uh, good decisions. Okay. So then my next question was what, what needs to be changed or improved? And it sounds like you've answered that mm -hmm. as well. Well, that's how I feel about this. I, I do. I, I do. You know, I, I can't really add anything to that other than in general terms. Okay. Um, are you applying for the uh, appointment as well as running for the six-year term, or are you just doing the one or the other? I, I plan on running for the six-year term. Um, I would like to see if I fit in with everything. I hope, I, I expect I will, I, I, because uh, I do believe that, that we all have the same motivation in, a, in, in a public service. So on that basis, uh, yes, I, I do. I, uh, if I'm so selected for this, then, then I will run. Okay. So, and, the, and the, the, uh, the decision on this will likely come after Monday's filing deadline. So, and some people haven't filed. I don't know if they have not. I have not. Okay, so you, if you're going to do it, you've got to do it. If I do it, yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, what kind of a time commitment do you expect to be putting in in this <coughs> county commission? I think it's going to be extensive, uh, especially starting out. Um, I, I know it lists 32 hours, but I, I see that it's, you know, I'm already preparing uh, myself that it's going to be a lot more than that. Uh, there's a lot of boards, there's a lot to learn. Um, and, and even after I've uh, become familiar with that, I still expect that it's going to be ever better than 32 hours. Uh, and, and, and I don't fear that. It's just uh, because of this same reason I'm running for the office. I, I'm, I'm here to, you know, I'm here to try to make things better. That's the only reason I have for running. Okay. What, um, what is your understanding for uh, open government requirements for open meetings, public records, those kinds of things for the commissioners to do their business? Well, again, again, I, I'm going to have to plead that there's probably things I don't know, but I do know that that any time that you have a forum, which is to commissioners, that it should be open, and 
I, and, and myself personally, if you're asking me if I, if, if I think the public has a right to know, I'd like to inform them, uh, keep them informed about all decisions, but as far as open meetings go, that's really the extent that I know that if there's uh, two, it, make, it makes a form, and therefore you have to, it, it should be, uh, 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 the public should be advised. Um, and you, did you serve on city council before? You did? No, I didn't. I, uh, I'm just a tantalizer. Oh, okay. I thought in the past you had, okay. Um, so, have you had a chance to look at the, the budgeting process for the county, or do you have any perception on the, the financial health of the county government right now? Spending-wise, are they... Do you see areas where they need to spend more, areas where they need to cut, areas where they need to pre-prioritize? What's your thoughts on that? Well, not to, not to really uh, smile about it. But, you know, I, I can't answer, answer those questions right now. I think that I, I would have to be, once I become more involved in that process, the anything that I would have would be far more informed than what it is right now. I, don't, I honestly don't feel that I'm informed enough by the different boards and, and, and the philosophies and the needs of those people to, to make such a decision. Uh, I, as far as I, I know right now, I think our county's healthy. That's the, that's the, the feeling that I get, but that's, that's uh, subjective. Uh, so, and that's not how I, uh, I, like, I don't put things subjectively. I, I like to know. I like to know before I make decisions. Um. Do you have any examples of a of a mistake you've made in your life, either in a like a work professional capacity or in a personal capacity that taught you something that you'd like to share? Oh, well, numerous, but maybe not that I want to share <laughs> necessarily. But I, I think that that if you're a critical thinker, that that it demands that you self-examination of the decisions that you make. Um, <clears throat> even even professionally, um, you know, I, I actually give up a job with Texas Instruments to um, stay to stay in Broadwater County. There's times I've reflected on that because of the uh, the income, basically. But you have everything's a balance, and uh, uh, and there's many things that I could have done better. Even even conversations that I have with somebody, I reflect on those to see if I could have handled it better. Um, if I could have got my point across better, I'm sure I do the same thing up this meeting. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I guess you know, um, the decision to stay in Montana was probably one of the largest decisions I've made um, because of that, because it affects my whole family. I'm, I'm happy I did. Uh, you know, now that my kids have grown and, and, and have uh, lives of their own and, and they're happy, I, I, then, then, then you can look back and say, huh, you know, it worked out well. Uh, but I still, you know, and then I would like, even, even uh, this position here that I'm looking for now, it, it took a lot of self, you know, I had a self-reflection there to see if that, um, that I want to give up uh, going to Florida, for instance, with my kids, uh, you know, my grandkids, and, and, and it's going to require that I do that. And, and so I had a lot of decisions to make before I come down here and uh, put my name in on this. Uh, so I, I went through that process. So, yeah, I don't know if that answered it. No, no, that's <laughs> that's 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 uh, <coughs> Anyone else want to jump in? I got more to go. But, yeah, you're doing, you're doing <laughs> free. Feel free to jump in. Such an elegant speaker. They were all written out of the room. I know. <coughs> well, and I know you've been in, involved in business in town here. So, what what's your perception on business opportunities in in Broadwater County in towns? And you know, a lot of kids growing up, and parents are worried that they're moving away rather than staying. And is there is there anything the local government can do to encourage that? Well, they they can if if. You know, I, I, I'm not uh, privy to if there's any, any businesses looking to relocate, particularly in Townsend, but 
I know that I mentioned the word growth a lot of times, and, and there was a misconception there. Uh, I should have mentioned economic growth, I mean, because our way of life here in Townsend is one of the reasons I, I like to stay here myself. But we do need a, a, a economic growth, and especially towards our schools. Our schools, uh, not saying that they don't already, but I do. I do know that that um, we have to prep them well for college. I, I do know that nationally speaking, that that <clears throat> if you don't have a college education now, that that for the most part, the the job offerings are are, are very uh, well McDonald's or service oriented, and. A lot of our people, uh, like even locally, I think our, our average in, uh, income for like the 2000 census was, was only like $8 an hour for, the, for a lot of the age one, and 16000 or so for, for a household. That, that's, that's not good. And you, you can't, uh, so yes, I'd like to see better. I'd, I'd actually, I'd like to see our, our children overall, not just my own, but if they so select, or decide to come back to tax and I find there would be some opportunities here for them. And so as commissioner, I would say that my my position would be if for whatever I can do is to facilitate that. You know, uh, school wise, uh, if I can be of help there. And I do mean help. I don't I don't want to run anything. I just want to be, you know be able to help if, if, if I, and and put that on the table that, that I'm there for that. And you, would you uh, describe um, any mentors or people who really had a shaping influence on your life and how that's, how that's prepared you or how that's had an impact on your life? Oh, I should probably thought that because there's some names that, from back that, that's probably had a lot of influence that I've, I've forgotten, I've forgotten uh, Dr. Peel. Uh, uh, Louis Lamore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for coming out. Uh, uh, and there has. There's been, uh, 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 there was a Bob Light who was a minister that I, I enjoyed when I was uh, speaking with and, and discussing things with. There was, uh, I had a Boy Scout uh, uh, leader that I was active in Boy Scouts while we were there. At, 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 at Boy Scouts um, did a lot for me. Uh, and matter of fact, he was kind of—he <laughs> was actually a county attorney, the uh, our, our scoutmaster. But uh, and and uh, being in Boy Scouts, I uh, I was selected to go to Philmont Scout Ranch down in New Mexico. First time I'd ever gotten to leave the state uh, for two weeks of camping out. And uh, yeah, th those people I would say had a lot to do do with it. And, it's not to say that I didn't have issues, <laughs> but, but yes, I, I, those are the people that, that when I look back at, I, I, I think they have a lot to do with uh, developing uh, who I am today. So what do you see as the qualities of a, of a good leader in this community and, and, and also maybe qualities of a bad leader that you try to avoid? Well, again, Open-mindedness, uh, just the, the willingness to serve, uh, the lack of a, uh, of a personal agenda, um, being objective in your thinking, trying to resolve issues without prejudice or biases, um, being as informed as you can. I think that's the only way that you can really truly serve. I, I, I would like to say that you just you leave the, the, the prejudices and biases at the door, and if you have any, and, and and try to resolve that business, facilitate goodwill, and it is goodwill, you know, with with everyone. I, other than that, I, I think that's probably the, the singular most qualification that a person should have. Okay. So we've got a county commission right now who is a, a two-person commission, and it's supposed to be three, which is why we're all here today. And and they often the two commissioners often disagree uh, on issues where. Something takes two votes, and you only get one, one way or the other. Uh, there's been meetings where it's been contentious, there's been arguments, it's been unpleasant, and whether it's county employees, the commissioners themselves, people out in, in uh, the community are all saying, hey, this needs to get better. So the, the third person who would come in would have probably a big say or an influence in how that goes, either worse or better. 
how, how would you influence that situation coming into, let's say you get appointed to the commission beginning in the next couple weeks? Okay. Well, <clears throat> I know both Lauren Franklin. I know there's been differences like everyone. But then, then again, just more or less interrated, enter, <laughs> excuse me, I wish I brought water, <laughs> but to, <clears throat> thank you, I'd appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> a little brighter. <laughs> but <clears throat> to reiterate, you know, just some of the things I said before, I don't bring any personal agenda. Uh, and and, and I, I, have, I do respect both, both of our commissioners. I know there's some differences there. I would hope, you know, and, and matter of fact, uh, that that uh, without any any direct effort or trying in that sense that that I could you know if, if there was an issue that, that I don't want to say I'd be a moderator because that's not true. All all I can say is to both of you is 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 I, I do believe we have the best interest of the county at heart. I I can be influenced. Uh, I, I really want to be informed, but and and what's best for the community is exactly how I'll vote. I, um, I, I I'm beholding to no one other than than the county as a whole, and that's exactly how I would hope that that would work. And, and uh, if uh, just by being informed, and that's why I do believe that uh, this, this isn't a 32 hour, especially starting out, and and that's. Actually, that's that's where I'm going to head if, if so selected. It's, it's, it's just trying to get, get on top of this. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll let you drink while I scan for a, another question. Does anyone want to jump in at this point? I've asked uh, probably 10 now. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyone well, want to jump in? Anyone at all? Let's just go with the question about that. Have okay. you ever had a problem or dispute with a county employee or a department in the county? And if you did, how did it affect you, or how did you feel it? Well, I can't think of anybody in the county uh, the offices. I, I don't know if it's a dispute in the sense that uh, I was a little um, uh, bothered by the fact of lack of, uh, of um, you know, when I wanted to build a building out on Main Street. Uh, without getting into a lot of issues, I, I thought that was not well handled is the best, but as far as personalities, mm -hmm. no, I, um, they, they made their decision and I lived with it. Uh, um, <clears throat> I would have liked it to have been, been uh, that, that, we would, that the city had been set to facilitate that better. You know, I, I, I had some issues there, but, but nothing on a personal level. Uh, um, and as a matter of fact, I, there might be a possibility that I still I'm still entertaining uh, possibly building a new building out there. I've had people that want to rent it, but I don't want to go that route again unless they're better able to, to do that. I've already seen uh, a few of that. I don't think that's doing the county or me or the city or anybody any good to, to, to do that anymore. So, But no, I, I, I hope that answers it. I, personally, I don't, I don't think so. I, I've had some... Hmm, I'm, I'm trying to think about that. Um, I think um, I have had disagreements uh, that, but they've been resolved. And even if they weren't in my favor, again, I accepted that. You know, it's, uh, I think that's the only way I can say that is uh, I expect disagreements. I, I expect that, that, that there's going to be times that, that, that we don't agree. And, and we might be very adamant about that. I think if you're going to take this office, uh, you have to be calm and, and accept that. But at the same time, uh, if you're going to research it and hold the job, there has to be a certain passion that you that for the challenge to, to do well. So uh, I, I think I'll leave it at that as having answered the question, hopefully. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, Larry, with the uh, world we live in, today being more electronically driven regarding communication. How proficient are you with computers, um, Outlook, Word, Excel, that kind of thing? Um, with some of the office I, I am familiar with, I, I wouldn't want to uh, 
rate myself too high on that. I, I've been out of it for a while. At one time, I was very efficient. <laughs> you know, things change. Uh, my job is, uh, and what I do now has changed a lot. At one time, I did work for Texas Instruments as a computer tech. I was highly regarded in that position. I, I enjoyed the work. Uh, it was challenging. I flew a lot. I got to meet a lot of people. I, I, I really enjoyed the job. Uh, but when the choice came to either either to move or to stay here, I, 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 had, to, I had to make a decision, quit or, quit or move. And, and so here I am. So to your question, uh, I don't think it will take that long for me to, to get up to speed on, on anything as far as, as computers go. I mean, I, I think I can handle that. Although, like I said, I would some of it I'd need to look at again. You know, there's no doubt about that. Along with that, Larry, we do a lot of letter writing, mm -hmm. a lot of communication via the written word. Sure. How proficient are you with that? You know, again, you know, it's a, look, I'd like to have a little modesty here, I guess. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, at one time, I, uh, my letter writing skills, uh, skills uh, were, I would say, very good. I, I, uh, I like to get my point across. Sometimes uh, um, um, I might not very, be very good at writing a novel, but uh, technically speaking, I, 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 I like to cover the bases really well. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so my technical writing might be a little more superior than, than <clears throat> my personal letters. I, I tend to be, I try to be brief, concise. But, uh, I think you'll find that I, I can do that satisfactorily. We had one question I asked to, uh, to somebody else. I think would be appropriate for you, um, since you're a business owner here mm -hmm. on Main Street. If uh, something arose uh, because of a decision you've made, being on the commission, if you were to get this position, um, that affected your business in a negative way, how would you handle that? Uh, well, we're not dependent on the store. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, <coughs> and, you know, I, I did read I, 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 the outline of the, uh, what a county commission would be. And in a lot of ways, uh, our businesses, uh, <coughs> when we started that, I worked at the Continental Line, and uh, well, now Graymont. Uh, after I left Texas Instruments, and um, we did that for Judy, I because she she needed that for her outside job, and it, and, it, and it gives us a venue uh, to we to for her to I I I I, I really do believe it's like a, a get together for her as opposed to a business, <laughs> but uh, you know, and and we get to contribute to the school and the different. Uh, uh, <clears throat> service organizations around through her school. We, it doesn't make a lot of money, but uh, I can't worry about about that. I, I, other than the fact that that uh, if it's we're not worried so much about making a profit, but at the same time nobody can afford to you know to to run something at a loss like that. But at the same time, it would bother me, uh, of course, if uh, if Judy did that. But then. That can't influence anything that I'm that I'm doing here. I don't expect that it would. Most of most of her people that come in there are just uh, are I think well educated. Uh, well, I don't even know if I want to put that qualification, but they are. It's just that uh, they enjoy doing what they're what what why they're there. They enjoy that. I, I, matter of fact, I'm envious a lot of times. <laughs> so so. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think we're good that way. Who's up? You keep looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a little ones that you asked already. Um, Larry, I know you've you've done some research just for the meetings, so you're somewhat familiar with Montana Code Annotated. Have you have you gone in and looked at what local government statutes have to say in regards to the county. I think, I think you've discussed some of them 
that it's in the city council meetings that I've been at, so mm -hmm. I know you understand that aspect, but have you gone and looked at the, the county government statutes by? No, not, not to a large extent, not as, not as much as I, I would need to do, and, and that's where I really am going to rely on, on just visits, uh, because this is a coordinated effort, and like with Corey and, and everybody here, and, uh, yes, I, I, I actually am going to defer some of that to, you know, when I have a question, I'm going to, I'm going to ask someone or, and, and look it up, uh, but, but I'm going to be looking for input, you know, as, uh, before decisions are made, but answer directly to your question, to an extent, I have. I, I, and I, and I figured you, you, you know, because there's close and cross references between city government and county government and stuff like that, so. Well, what's your, uh, tell us about a, an achievement in your life that you've been very proud of. Well, my boys, I, I, you know, I just, uh, if anything meant to me, I, uh, my family, I've been married 46 years, and that is it. Maybe it is an achievement. I don't know if other people would see it that way, but I do, and, and uh, it means a lot to me. Um, so, um, others just maybe on a personal level. I, I um, and I did just on a letter of introduction. One of the things that I really enjoyed doing was the building of the house out on the flats. That was something that that was out of, outside of my skill sets, and and it took a lot of uh, research. And stuff. Uh, to, to for me to familiarize myself uh, with doing that, and, and I did it while working on te at Texas Instruments. Had to accumulate all my uh, <clears throat> time off to to start it, but but as a you know just a personal little, I, I enjoyed that, and it's uh, and I'm I'm pleased with uh, with the job that that I, that I did. So. Um, and there's other just small things, you know, I, I was pleased that, you know, just even back in life, some of the things that meant to me was being selected, of course, for going to, uh, to uh, Philmont Scout Ranch and things like that. I, uh, I was, uh, I can't take credit for this. I'm, I was glad to be a part of it. Uh, Sig, uh, Sig Birch, who was our Methodist minister, he, he's the one who started the Lions Club in, uh, in Townsend. And, I was a charter member of the Lions Club until I just started putting in so many hours at the uh, at the line plant that, that I couldn't really function there. I've been president of the Rod and Gun Club, um, you know, in, in that part, and and then and in other positions while I was there. But I, I, those are the type of things I, that I I've enjoyed doing. And. Uh, and then just living it, you know, in fact, I'm living here, you know, I'm kind of living in where I want to live. I, mean, that's a, I see that as an accomplishment. <laughs> and uh, we have a couple more questions to go, but did you have anything that we haven't really talked about that you wanted to talk about? Or any issues that, that we maybe have overlooked? You know, you know, I don't. I, I, uh, I can't think of anything right offhand. I, I, if so, select again. I, I, I'm actually looking forward to to uh, working with you. Uh, it's 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 going to be a challenge. I, I just uh, and I have to admit, I, I, that part of it excites me. I just uh, I, to come down and, and uh, to be a part of it, uh, um, and and that was the deciding factor on whether I wanted to commit the time to do this as opposed to maybe enjoying retirement doing. The little stuff I've been doing for forever, for, for uh, at the house and, and and going south on extended vacations. <laughs> so, so that's I, I guess I'd have to say that uh, later. I guess that's it. I guess. Okay. Last questions. I think you've covered them all, actually. Okay. There's one we didn't ask, but I think you've covered it, and that was just in, the, in terms of, and maybe you did ask this, that about in working in a professional environment with your with peers and employees and the public, and, and how you can, how they, I guess you can pay respect to people or how they respect you. How does it, I guess, setting up or that atmosphere of respect in that professional working area? I think the best way to command respect is by doing your job. Uh, you have to, I think everyone deserves a, a respect in that sense, but to the, the earned respect that you get from, from 
doing your job efficiently and what's expected of you and, and maybe even above and beyond. Uh, as far as previously you know, along those lines, I worked for, uh, I, I guess Texas Instruments would be the uh, best example of that is uh, <clears throat> I traveled the state a lot further than that from coast to North Dakota to Wyoming and North. Uh, chartered planes that a lot of people wouldn't know this about me because it's just uh, chartered planes out of Helena that would fly down, pick me up, and I'd service calls in all those areas. They were in professional settings from banks to, at, to even uh, people that had our smart terminals at the time from, from uh, Ford to, to Synexis, uh, the corporation offices. And, and it requires, it, it does require professionalism in the sense that you go in, you, 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 uh, you do the service that you were there to do in a professional manner, get it done as quickly as possible and leave a good, because you represent Texas, well I did, I represented Texas Instruments and I took that seriously. And uh, so, so in that respect, um, I did that uh, for a number of years, five, five, a little over five I believe before. And, and there was other uh, jobs that I had that, that required to a level, but that was, uh, that was it. And then, and then even locally, you know, in, in, you know, in businesses, just even though, <clears throat> Even though I'm not, not really employed by, by uh, Neil, of course, my brother and all, but, but I enjoy going in and, <clears throat> and uh, if, if there's a customer that comes in, if I can help them, I do that. And, and, uh, I, and that's just a personal satisfaction. That's the only thing I get out of that, actually, is the satisfaction <laughs> of, of trying to help somebody. So, uh, I guess uh, I do feel that, that, professionally speaking, to just summarize there, that, that that, that I can handle that. Okay. So last question, are you uh, first or second cousin to John Wright? <laughs> no, I am not related. <coughs> not there's, related. There's the only, the only uh, and unfortunately this is true, the only relative I now have there is, is uh, Judy and Neil and uh, all my sons unfortunately because of the very thing that you asked me earlier have uh, no choice but to, to really seek employment elsewhere. And uh, I would like to see, uh, that'd be awesome if, there, if, if in the future that they could come back. Um, but no, I'm, I'm absolutely no, no relation uh, to John. Uh, but again, I, I do respect John as a person. I absolutely do not agree with him on, his, on, on, on the issues that he's had. I've, I've had a couple of conversations with John. And, and I... And unfortunately, those conversations, uh, you know, has is, is, uh, not really been, they, they've been so general and uh, mainly about Constitution, where I've been lectured, and, and that's not to fault John. I, I don't, honestly didn't come in to talk about that. I don't need to I just, <laughs> I, I have had, I will tell you that in, in the application process, I had a couple people go, well, Who's that? Is that John Wright's brother? I mean, or his son, or whatever. So I have had people ask me if you're related to him. I figured I would just ask it. Is your one son still in the Air Force? Pardon me. Is your one son still in the Air Force? I have two sons that's active. Uh, oh. James is the lieutenant colonel. He's in Niceville, uh, uh, Florida, at Eglin Air Force Base. Uh, my other son's a firefighter, and he's uh, he's been deployed over to Honduras. He he'll be over there for I think another seven to eight months. I, they're both career. One's been, I, I would assume, uh, yeah. one's been in just a little over 16, and uh, Matt's been in just a little over 10. Has it been that long? I know. I know. Uh, it's just, it's just unreal. It's just, yeah. well, when you're having fun, time yeah. flies. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I mean, I remember, I, I remember him graduating. I remember him, he was over in Spokane, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Michael, yeah, my, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, Matt was. That's yeah, where he Matt stationed was. first, yes. Yeah, and then he came back, and I think he had a red red car that he was riding around in, but um, he, was, you know, he, was, he was pretty excited and I haven't seen him in a long time, so I didn't know if he was, if he got married and settled down somewhere out of state or if he was still in the Air Force. Or. You know, a lot of times change. Matt, uh, my, excuse me, James is the only one that's married, uh, had two grandchildren, uh, just turned nine, uh, the oldest boy, and the other one is six. So. And the other three are, are, are still, well, I'm the fairly serious, I believe, but, but that's it. Did Stephen recover from his injury? 
That's unless somebody has some logging injury. You, you, you know, oh. no, I just have to, I have, you, Sorry you about know, that. I, I just have to go see. Uh, Stephen, Stephen still has it. You don't ever really recover. He, he, he took a, a kind of a back injury. And still, it plagues him, but he, he has. I, yeah. You know, for intense, you know, for work yeah. and things, he has. Uh, but that's going to be one of those lifelong little yeah. aches that you got that you just yeah. you, you just deal with. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> and he travels a lot right now. He's uh, he's my right now. I think he's in, he's in El Paso now, oh, and, and and he's doing a job there. And I think he's flying off to Boston Monday or uh, yeah Monday or Saturday. Even. I I just spoke with him not very long ago. And I try to keep in touch with him, him and I share a lot of commonality between. Uh, our jobs. Uh, he's, he's um, you know, just um, industry has changed, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so consequently, the job that he does, uh, the expertise that, that's required now is, is substantial, actually. So, uh, PLCs for programming logic and and uh, and, uh, and mechanics is involved, and, and uh, it's 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 you have to be on top of the game for yeah. it. Well, tell him I said hi. Pardon? Tell him I said hi. I will. I definitely will. He asked me. Yeah. I think I'll do. It's been. It's been <laughs> I can't believe Matt's been gone that long. I mean, it seems like it seems just wasn't that long ago he graduated high school. So. Uh, yeah. I know. I. 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 I it, it, yeah. It seems like a long time. Yeah. I, I know I miss him a lot. I mean, I do. I do. It's. It's. Uh, that's why I take those extended vacations. I. I. I really do miss him. But uh, that's going to come to an end if, if again, if we decide to do this. Because, like I said, that's uh, that's something that. I, but I am hoping they do come out, and I hope that uh, I hope that they get out more. Uh, uh, right now, I, I know Stephen might be out again uh, towards uh, August and September. Uh, but like he took it, like he tells me, uh, well, it's a day-to-day -day thing. He says he just doesn't know. He puts in, a lot well, like I did at Continental Line, he puts in uh, a friend this month over time, I, you know, so, so I don't know, you know, I, I hope I get to see him, but uh, any other things I can say? He did. Um, we have this for you, Larry. <coughs> this is just a rundown of what to expect Monday night at the forum. Yeah, okay. Uh, the mayor will be the moderator. And there'll be a, a kind of start with a three minute introductory uh, speech about yourself. And then uh, from there, it'll just follow okay. a structure of question and answer. Okay. Great. And that'll be at the multi purpose room at the school. You betcha. Well, nice seeing you all. You too. Thank you. We'll see. Thanks, Larry. Oh, you bet. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Larry.